Hello, I'm Robin Fight to Stamping Country, and today I'm going to show you Big Shot sandwiches. Your Big Shot comes with a multi purpose platform, the Big Shot die cutting machine, and two cutting pads. And no, they're not scarred like this, these are well loved. What I recommend is if you're using all Stamping Up products, um, you might want to unscrew the screws at the end here and take off the tab too because we don't have any wafer thin products. Makes it a little easier because most of the time you're going to use tab one. Occasionally when you use thicker material uh, such as heavier cardstock or thicker paper you're going to use just the this part of the platform. So let's get started. One of the most common kinds of dies is the Big Z die. And for a Big Z die, you're going to need a cutting pad, the, your Big Z die, your cardstock or other material, whatever you're using, and another cutting pad. The important thing is to make sure that your sandwiches are nice and even as they go through the machine, and then you just crank it through. When you crank it through, you always want to hold on to the top so it doesn't wiggle a little all over. And you may want to be setting or standing up because when you're setting down, sometimes you uh, it's a little harder to turn. This, this cut out the little envelope. Another kind of die that we have is the, the Big Z XL. The Big Z XL, we're going to need longer cutting pads, so we're going to need the XL cutting pads. So you, for this, you're going to need a cutting pad, your Big Z XL, a sheet of cardstock, or whatever you're going to use, your other Big Z XL, make sure that you're, you're nice and even, and then run it through your machine. That's how you run the Big Z XL. You, another Big Z XL die that we have is the magnetic movers and shapers. And the nice thing about this is we can create windows anywhere we want on our project. If we want it in the center, we can place it there. But it's going to be the sandwich is the same as the Big Z XL. We're going to place our die on top of the cutting pad, then our cardstock, then our other cutting pad and we're going to run it through and we can make nice little projects like this with the window card with the big the movers and shapers now the big CL is just a little bit short shorter but it's longer than the regular big Z dies you can run these through the same with the same sandwich either using your regular cutting pad, you can see that it just fits, or you can run this through with your extra long cutting pads. Gives you a little bit more maneuverability, but you can run them through with either cutting pads. You can make things with the Big ZL, like the mini milk carton, or the famous fun flower that's here. The next thing we're going to run through sandwich is going to be the sizzlets. For the sizzlets you're going to need your platform. You want to set it at tab one. Put your cutting pad. You'll need your sizzlet, your cardstock, and your next cutting pad. And then you'll run it through. Something similar but it also embosses it are your embossing folders. Your embossing folders, you want to place your cardstock between the folder. And it says place this side down. So again, we're going to use tab one, our cutting pad, our embossing folder, and our cutting pad. And then we'll run it through. Some things that you can make with your embosslets would be the little sweet buttons, the heart, or even the beautiful wings butterflies. Another very popular product that we have is the embossing folders. We get a nice thick embossed image with the embossing folders. These are easy to run through. We're going to use tab one, our cutting pad. We would place 
our cardstock inside of our folder. This would be the upside with it. And we'll do our other cutting pad. Again, you want a nice neat line and run it through. I'm oftentimes asked what is the difference between the embossing folders and the textured impression plates. The difference is with the embossing folders you get a deep etched image whereas the textured plates give you a subtle textured look such as the, the lattice look on the back of this card. To run the textured plates you want to be set at tab, tab 1 then you want to put your textured plate your card stock these are two-sided so you'll want to choose which side to be up. If I wanted this tree, tree trunk look I would put this side up. Put your card stock then you're going to use silicone rubber very floppy put that on and your textured plate. Place that on there and you can run that through. We also have was introduced in the last mini our letterpress plates. These are a little thicker and this is the only sandwich that only uses one cutting pad. So to use the texture plates you would use open it to tab one you would use your texture plate. Now you can run it through without ink or you can add a craft ink such as Versamark or our craft ink. So you need a pigment ink. The dye inks don't work. If you're, if you're going to do that, you're going to want to ink up your whole, your whole pad. Then you'll place your card stock and then just one cutting plate, cutting pad, and you would run it through. Again, that's your, tech, your letterpress plate, ink it if you want to, your cardstock, and your cutting pad. And that will run through your letterpress plates. Just one other item is our decorative strips. The decorative strips are thin all by themselves, so you're going to need the thickness. And this is a Sizzlitz decorative uh, the decorative strip platform and the decorative strip cutting pad you would place your decorative strip your cardstock and your decorative strip cutting pad and run that through that's it for our Sam big shot sandwiches thanks for stopping at Stampin Country and have a great day